uh, Michael Carter Jr. with Carter Farms and Aquaculture. Um, why is equity work important? You know, equity is important, one, because it's a matter of fairness. You know, we didn't ask to come here. We were the only people that came here without or with a job. We had work visas before we got here. <clears throat> and, you know, to be compensated for our, the enslavement period is one thing. But even after we were made, quote unquote, free, the system rigged us so it, we still couldn't have anything. Um, and I'm a fifth generation, I'm a fifth generation farmer on our own property. And my great great grandparents who purchased their land were either enslaved or children of the enslaved. No schooling, uh, at least no, no traditional schooling. Uh, but what they did know and what they had a good understanding of was the value of land. Uh, so they purchased their property, 700 or $150, 150 acres worth of property uh, for $722 in 1910. And my great-grandfather purchased another 25 acres of land for $225 in 1915. And that land is, for many people, is a representation of value and wealth. That's how wealth is sustained, usually through land and land trust. Um, and if we didn't have that land, as my family would, my family, my, a lot of my family probably wouldn't have went to college. Uh, my father's generation, most of them went to college if they desired to. And it was because of the land that gave them that, that reality. In the state of Virginia, our peak as far as farmers and landowners was in 1925, where we had over 50,000 farmers. And from, 50, from 1925 to 1978, we turned it down to probably 5,000 farmers. From 1978 to now, we're down to 1,500, well, 1,220 to 1,400 farmers. So you're talking about between 1925 and now 100 years, we've had a 98% decline in black farmers, which is also a 98% decline in wealth and equity. Um, and land is wealth. This country was created for landowners. And those who own land had the most political power, have the most say in this country, are treated the most just. So equity, land equity and agricultural equity is our responsibility and our right. And if you don't give us that, then there's no need for us to be here. You know, we've done everything we've asked, that you asked of us and then some. We fought in your wars, uh, we paid our taxes, we've been model citizens for people who were never treated as models, who were treated as property, as usually less than most farm animals, yet, all we ask for is equal protection or equal treatment under the, the laws you set up. And we've yet to experience that. And that's why it's most important for us to receive equity. Because if we want to have equity and want to have parity, we've got to have economic parity. You know, forget social equity. I don't care if you're my friend or not. I care if I can support my family. Uh, and most of us, the social ills that you see in our community and other communities are pretty much based upon economic equity. If we had the same economic powers and opportunities as others, there wouldn't be any major crime, no more crime than there is in other communities. Um, so, you know, economic or land equity and agriculture equity is key to economic equity, which is key to us being functional and model citizens in every community in Virginia and throughout the states.